All right, folks, so what's the difference between WordPress.com and WordPress.org? WordPress.com is this fun-looking party. It's literally a concert right now. You can create a website in a matter of minutes or a blog, more typically, and they'll help you do everything. And it's free to create a website or a blog. Um, it just looks like so much fun, whereas WordPress.org looks plain and boring. I don't even know what to do on this web page. It's a web software. What does that even mean? Like a software you put on the web? Or is it like Microsoft Word? Can we click download here? Because that doesn't really do much. What's going on here? And why does everyone keep talking about WordPress? Well, today I'm going to show you a simple analogy that should help explain the difference between WordPress.com and WordPress.org, even though this is a never-ending debate. And I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments after this video. Um, so I'm going to show you an analogy and make sure you watch till the end because I'm going to at the end show you how to make this self-hosted WordPress blog, which is really simple, it's easy to use, and it just plain works. And it's also uh, social, you know, you got your social icons. It's profitable, we got our Google advertisements, and it's all mobile friendly, and it's got great content. Um, I know this blog will be a hit in 2017. So let's look at WordPress in a nutshell to get started. What is, what's up with WordPress? All right, well imagine you get a new home, like a beautiful home on the mountainside at a lodge destination, perfect for vacations. And all right, well let's back up for a second. Imagine this is your friend's vacation home and you go and visit. And when you get there, you can you know put your belongings down and you can interact with people and have fun. And you stay there maybe a couple weeks. Um, it's really fun, you know, you're at this beautiful home, maybe it looks like this, and you're just sitting on the couch, loving it, writing, you know, sharing content, talking with people, maybe you have a big house like this that you're staying at because your friends are, you know, famous or something, and it's really cool. So, you know, maybe it looks like this, I don't know, I would love a lake like this, this is not my home, uh, this is, you know, a free Google image. But let's say that like all of a sudden you want to change something. Let's say you're at the home and you want to paint it uh, red. Just paint it red. And then you want to mow the lawn. And then you want to set up like a basketball court right here. And your friend is like, no, you can't do that. Um, you're like, okay, well, all right, maybe I'll just start like a business here. Maybe I'm just going to do this for a living. I'm going to invite my clients over because it's so beautiful. I want to invite my clients over. We can sit by the fireplace and look out the window and just talk about business ideas and make money in this beautiful space. And your friend's like, no, this is my home. You can't do that. Maybe you want to like invite people over to a pool party and your friend's like, no, that's too many people. Everyone's got to go. And you're like, okay, this is like really fun, but I'm just going to leave. Um, you know, it's been a fun two or three weeks, but I'm going to leave. And maybe your friend's in fact like, you're not just going to leave. I'm going to... I'm gonna kick you out. You're done. I'm gonna kick you out because you've been here. It's been fun, but you know you're trying to do too much. So that happens, and you know maybe someone even just deletes your memories. Maybe you don't even know what happened because you know you had a bad experience. That whole description right there is pretty much WordPress.com. You're allowed to show up there and use some of the pretty features on WordPress.com because it's a free blog hosting site. They'll, in other words, host your blog, kind of like they're hosting this concert for free. But because they're hosting it for free and you're a guest there, you have to abide by their rules. So the rules are their plans and pricing. You can pay this much to get this stuff, you know. But you only get a certain amount of storage, but you can't really monetize your site. You can remove WordPress.com ads, which is cool, so that you don't have like random ads but you just can't monetize. So maybe you pay $8.25 a month and you can you know, monetize your site with word ads, which is like WordPress choosing what you advertise. And you're like, okay, I just want more freedom, so I'm gonna go with business. And by then you're paying $25 a month, which is just like way more than you would ever pay to use WordPress.org. So you can see what I'm saying. You start off for free on WordPress.com, but because they control you, because they're hosting you, they can tell you what you do. Now let's go back to our analogy for a second, and let's say that you 
just set up a plot of land first and then you built your own home, all right? So that's self-hosted WordPress. You get a plot of land, which is the hosting space. It's just like a parking space or a field, uh, you know, somewhere beautiful to put your land and you pay for that. You pay a hosting company um, and then once you do that, once you pay them and once you buy your domain name, you're all set. Then you can install WordPress.org onto the hosting space. In other words, you're going to build a house onto this piece of land and you can do whatever you want with that house because you own it. All right, so go back to this house and imagine just owning it. All right, then you can paint it red or orange. You can set up a whole basketball field here and, you know, do whatever you want. You can bring your clients in, you can advertise, you can even sleep on the couch and make a mess. You could have this house, you know, maybe if you're a successful WordPress blogger, you'd have to be really successful, but there's no reason you can't do that with WordPress.org because you have 100% freedom. The freedom in WordPress.org is one reason that massive companies like Jay-Z and Katy Perry and CNN use wordpress.org and one thing we can do on this boring web page is click showcase and on this page we can see who uses wordpress.org for all its freedom to do whatever they want companies like glad toyota dole angry birds walt disney you can click celebrities and find people like katy perry hussein bolt you know snoop dogg LL Cool J, you can have a website or a blog on WordPress.org just like these people if you're willing to take a little time and create that plot of land first, you know, and own the plot of land because you pay for it, of course, and then create your house on top of that. That's what you can have with WordPress.org. And fortunately, the plot of land, aka the web hosting, doesn't cost nearly as much as these plots of land might or you know the wordpress software doesn't cost anything like this house would cost because wordpress.org is free to install it's 100 percent free to install once you have your own web hosting or your plot of land all right so that's it guys that's the difference between wordpress.com and wordpress.org it's like visiting your friend's getaway house for a couple weeks and then leaving versus owning your own getaway house and being able to do whatever you want. If you want to use WordPress.com, I definitely recommend it. I've tried it myself. You can learn a lot about blogging, test out the features, and you know even start telling people about your blog. If you want to use WordPress.org, I recommend it as well. I have a video on how to make a WordPress blog for 2017. And that's where we create this exact blog right here, including all the features like the logo, the icons, this cool contribute page where people can send you content like blog posts, links, pictures, files, and become contributors to your blog. And you learn how to do everything here with WordPress.org. All right, so that's where I'm gonna leave you. I wanted this to be a quick tutorial where you can just chew on the ideas presented and uh, take them forth and use them to your success. Please let me know in the comments if this helped you with the difference between WordPress.com and WordPress.org. And of course, if you wanna use my WordPress.org tutorial, you can just click on it uh, right here on the screen or you can find the link in the description. Um, again, I recommend both sites. If you're a professional and wanna make a living blogging or with a WordPress website if you do it for a company or a business definitely go wordpress.org but if you just want to share your thoughts and test out blogging there's nothing stopping you from doing great things on wordpress.com all right thanks for watching guys i'll talk to you soon